Good evening, everybody. Just thought I'd make another post real quick for notes from the vicarage. Let you know kind of what's going on in our world. Um, I haven't been able to post the last couple of days. Sunday was pretty busy, and then uh, I ended up uh, Monday uh, was a super busy day, and then I started feeling not so well on Monday night and all through Tuesday. So I spent a lot of time uh, resting and in prayer on Tuesday through the day. But I wanted to share with you something uh, that was shared with me uh, from one of our prayer warriors, Deb Parker. On Sunday morning, she sent me a, uh, an uh, instant messenger uh, telling me that she had been awakened in the night uh, by a dream. And in the dream, uh, the Lord told her that the, the uh, fawn was in the thicket. And, uh, of course, that takes us back to the book of Genesis. It reminds me of the story of Abraham when God had told him to take his son, his only son, Isaac, up uh, the mountain to uh, sacrifice his son. And Abraham, in obedience, did that. Abraham took this son who had been promised to him by God up the mountain and was prepared to sacrifice Isaac on the altar. And at the last moment, if you remember the story from the book of Genesis, God stayed Abraham's hand. There was a ram that got stuck in the thicket and God said, uh, Behold, I have given you your sacrifice. Do not kill your son, your only son. And so Abraham stayed his hand, and together they sacrificed the ram uh, that was in the thicket before God. Reminds me a little bit of uh, sort of where, where I'm at in, uh, and I think many people are at, with where it concerns the promises of God. We've all got these things that God has promised us, and it just seems like life comes along and keeps requiring us to put our dreams aside again and again and again. Have you ever been there? Have you been to that place where there's this thing that God has put inside your heart and inside your mind where you are supposed to, uh, and you know that it's something that you are supposed to do. There's, there's something that God has put inside you, a promise, a call, or something like that, and you feel almost compelled to this thing, uh, whatever it may be. But life comes along and keeps sidetracking you and keeps pushing you aside and keeps causing you to take the dream and put it on the altar to sacrifice it for the sake of life. Sort of like what Abraham felt called to do with Isaac. He had to take this son, this son of a promise, and he felt like he needed to put it on the altar. Uh, but God provided a substitutionary sacrifice. In the last moment, in the moment, uh, the turning point, the 11th hour, God provided another sacrifice. And God spoke to me through this vision that Deb Parker had. Uh, you know, what the word to her was, the fawn is in the thicket. The sacrifice is being provided. And to me, that meant that, uh, stay your hand. Jay. And I think God's speaking this to many people throughout uh, our community and even maybe throughout the world. And he's saying, you've sacrificed that dream enough. You've put that dream on the altar enough. I see it. You're willing to give it up in order to do the other things that I've called you to do. But look, I'm not calling you to give up your dreams. You've had to put them off. You've had to push them aside long enough. Now behold, I'm going to put the, the right sacrifice at the right time in the right place and you are going to be able to take your dreams off the altar and you're going to be able to watch them be fulfilled. I hope that ministers to you. It, it sure ministered to me because I feel like I'm in a season during this artistic reboot where God is saying, I'm about to change things up a little bit for you. The, the things that you've been uh, feeling you need to push the dream off for, uh, I am going to provide a way. I'm going to make a way so that the dream I put inside your heart, the dream of artistry, the dream of uh, writing, the dream uh, of music uh, will be provided uh, for. And uh, you aren't going to have to push that off anymore. Uh, 
Maybe this ministers to you. Maybe it speaks to you as well. I hope it does. God bless. Bye now.